Peace, love, and light family. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. I hope you are living in your greatest purpose. And Spirit is saying something about communication. <laughs> communication. All right, let's get into your messages. Oh, before I start, I want to uh, just announce that um, we are going to be available for private readings. So if you are interested, um, you can email. Uh, the email is going to be in the description box and, um, you know, and we can move forward from there. All right, let's get into your messages. <clears throat> message do you have for the divine collective spirit <laughs> okay i'm seeing okay i'm seeing the moon i'm seeing the world okay all right spirit information okay the sun all right the sun wants to greet you the sun says bon soleil the sun says you have luck positivity you have, <laughs> speaking of communication, self-expression. The sun is saying that you have the energy to work on that project that you've been thinking about that's relating to your communication. Many of you may have some projects um, that is related to communication that will bring a lot of positivity, a lot of success towards you. All right, let's clarify the sun card. All right, they're flying fast today. <laughs> Speaking of communication, all right, in the Queen of Cups, um, we're getting the Queen of Cups. All right, okay, give us more information. All right, now <laughs> and again, okay, and you having the Four of Wands, Four of Wands, um, hmm. I'm getting this energy of coming together again, uh, teamwork. Many of you have projects that's relating to communication that perhaps you're working on and that and you're trying to gather, um, gather people together, bring people together. Uh, this project is going to bring a lot of positivity. It's going to bring a lot of happiness is what I'm hearing. Um, many of you, this may have to do with families and may not necessarily be um, like blood relations. This may just be, you know, and I'm hearing this, the soul tribes again coming together uh, from this. Spirit is saying that this will be a success. Uh, this will definitely be a success. Okay, give us more information about the sun card. Uh, Leo energy sun energy um okay okay we're getting a lot of fire energy today okay and also the sun card is clarified uh with the nine of wands and the the nine of wands and the nine of pentacles okay we have nine nine all right Mm. 9 9 which gives you 18 which also equals 9 the number 9 for many of you are very significant um relating to things coming to a full cycle um completion mm, 9 9 could definitely be significant right now spirit is saying that you have had success as it relates to um the battles that you have fought uh for many of you this project that perhaps you may be working on um has to do with uh bringing resilience to people families communities and spirit is saying that this will definitely bring you <laughs> much success like this is all success right here you know like the first thing that comes out is is success and it's clarified with you know with success in your in your projects in your work and your coming together um you know four of wands also give the energy of relationships relationships coming together finding your divine counterpart um gives it gives the energy of communities you know teamwork um 
whatever you're working on it's something that's going to bring resilience and it's going to bring it's going to bring wealth to um it's going to bring wealth to to families it's going to bring wealth to people that are going to then allow that are then going to be able to help others i'm getting a lot of you know fire energy here so um a lot of success a lot of success in in what it is that you're working on um a lot of resilience many of you in terms of what it is that you're working on uh you have had to i'm getting the energy that you know you know you have had to definitely be persistent and courageous as it relates to this this uh the projects that you're working on um many of you have are definitely aware of the conditions in communities in in the world and you are working towards something that will bring prosperity to communities and the world and you're standing resilient uh you definitely had some challenges as it relates to this and you may be feeling a bit uh overwhelmed maybe maybe fatigue a little bit tired perhaps drained of energy spirit is saying you know you have the energy of the sun and you're going to succeed and your projects are going to succeed you know the universe is definitely giving you thumbs up four thumbs up is what i'm hearing four thumbs up okay spirit um uh and speaking of the number four uh relating to stability many of you this project that you're working on is going to bring stabilities within homes within families individuals um this definitely has to do with uh, uh also bringing bringing uh bringing wealth bringing wealth into communities and and you know putting money in people's pockets so this project that you're working on is definitely going to be a success and for many of you spirit is saying that this project may be um for many of you who are uh and i'm also getting the energy you know that this project that you're working on is going to be beneficial for those communities that you intend for it to work on and spirit is saying that it it's also benefiting you spirit is saying that you get to understand and know overstand and know that when you assist and support others you're actually helping yourself so spirit is saying that this project is also going to bring you abundance as it relates to not only your pentacles right now you're seated in the nine of pentacles definitely successful you've got all that you need uh you know uh, currently and spirit is saying that you know many of you are looking for you know to to build relationships to build partnerships to build you know to have uh many of you are looking for for uh for stability for stability as it relates to as it relates to a divine union is what i'm hearing um, and many of you, you possibly could have met this person already is, is what Spirit is saying. And you're, you're trying to figure out if this person, you're trying to know if you have some prospects. You have a lot of prospects is what I'm hearing. And for many of you, you have at least four is what I'm hearing. And, <laughs> you know, as it for, and many of you have met these people in your line of work and working in your projects like spirit has definitely led you in the direction where you are meeting people that will uh assure that you build your tribe as it relates to your financial stability and spirit has also led you to meet people that will meet uh that that you know that are prospects in terms of your um you know your spiritual union so for many of you, you spirit is saying you may have at least like you may have at least four people who are interested in you who are interested in building with you and you know they see you you know in this energy where you know they definitely see you stable abundant you know doing your thing and um and spirit is saying that you will know you will know um uh, you know with time uh whether or not these these are people that are going to um mm, that are going to <clears throat> 
that are going to prosper with you as it relates to your your divine union as it relates to your divine um I, and I'm, I'm definitely getting you know some uh partnership energy here okay hmm. okay spirit Mm hmm okay all right <laughs> we definitely got a we got we definitely got something here um mm. here there's that energy of traveling again <laughs> there's that energy of traveling again um this is and of course, you know, the word card, number 21. Um, this also has to do with what you've been working on. Spirit has definitely pointed out that this has to do with what you've been working on. So Spirit wants you to know that you are having success on what you've been working on. Many of you have been working on, you know, your your financial stability you've also been working on you know building yourself and building your spiritual knowledge and and um building building yourself to prepare yourself to be uh in 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 the right communities in the right partnerships um and you're definitely having success and i'm really getting the sense that this is this is really having to do with your business spirit is saying that your business is going to bring you a lot of wealth it's going to bring you it's going to open the door to the world is what spirit is saying it's going to open the door to the world as it relates to your financial stability it's it's opening actually it's opening the door it's not going to it's this is actually happening it's it's opening the doors to you finding your soul tribe it's opening the doors to finding success finding success just like this is all success the world card you're getting the world card here you're getting the sun card this is this is all about success okay number 10 which equals 1 21 which equals 3 so 1 you definitely have the divine working on your side 3 um you have the doors opening for you you have access you have access to uh opening doors and i'm also hearing closing doors as well you just have access you have access to the divine you have access to all the four <laughs> i'm hearing all the four corners of the globe you have access and for many of you this may actually be like literal you have access to four corners of the globe for many of you that is also significant you know having access to four corners of the globe the number four is significant as it relates to your business something that's that you're working on that's bringing stability to the world that's bringing stability to communities to various aspects of the world yeah you're you're opening doors that are going to give I'm, I'm and I'm getting different cultures you know the energy of different cultures access to fulfillment different cultures access to success and achievement <clears throat> different access to having things that they may not otherwise you know have mm -hmm. okay <sighs> spirit give us information about this world card mm, this so this world card speaking of corners this 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 is definitely relating to you know having access to having access 
to the various corners of the world is what I'm getting here. This is about territory. This is about, this may be about, this may be about land. Okay, this world card is, it may be having to do with success, with working on some aspect relating to land, relating to um, challenges and attaining property is what I'm getting. Okay, with this world card. Mm. Okay. Okay, well, the universe is definitely saying that you have good luck on your side as it relates to this project. You have um, divine karma, the cycles working, you know, on your behalf. Let's see, all of these actually came out. Um, uh, you're seated in your power is what Spirit is saying. You've walked away from some things. Um, these spirit is saying that these are all energies that have currently allowed you to sit in your power at this time. Okay, your creative spark is is it's it's beaming at this time. You have karma on your side. Uh, you are no longer, you know, in this spirit of fear. You've walked away from some things, and you're seated in your power. You have good businesses and business sense and again this is this is this is giving the energy of homes enterprise families um businesses like someone you know a, a divine this is the queen of wands coming together to to build something and this is definitely giving the energy of someone who is building something someone with a good business sense is is what what spirit is saying with the good insight foresight okay so as it relates to your success with this this energy this project that you're working on spirit is saying that you definitely have you definitely have the universe working at your side you know and you have success you're you're glowing at this time you have divine inspiration um and i'm definitely getting the sense that this is this is something that you've moved away from because they came together so you've moved away from this sense of anxiety and fear that many many of you may have had in regards to starting your business starting your projects and you're no longer you know you're at this you you are you're seated in your power because you've moved away from these anxious you know energies and you know eight of cups to me always gives the sense of self-love um and i say that because many a times we're not able to move away from things that no longer serve us like fear anxiety and stress um because we have not tapped into this energy this deep sense of appreciation for self this deep sense of working on self and moving away from all things that no longer serves us so this definitely gives the energy of self-love so spirit is saying that your self-love has allowed you is allowing you and continuing to allow you to to create you know to create to be successful to have good karma and um you know yeah this is definitely given the energy of creating yeah you're you're and traveling too okay many of you are definitely gonna be traveling like you're definitely gonna be traveling okay so we've gotten some information a lot of information about the sun card so the sun card is really pointing to energies relating to your projects your success um you know really sitting standing resilient as it relates to your projects is what spirit is saying um and and spirit is definitely giving many of you the go ahead you're going to you're succeeding you are succeeding so let's let's get some information about the queen of cups uh queen of cups energy a lot of intuition implied here um 
many of you may be seated as the queen of cups okay okay so spirit is saying okay um with this with this queen of cups card here getting more information with the of course more more cup energy um many of you are refusing offers is what spirit is saying like you are <laughs> okay all right spirit i'm hearing sedity <laughs> okay many of you are sitting in this power where you're like okay you have like and didn't we say four okay didn't we didn't we say previously that you may have four choices of people with this with this uh four of wands earlier okay that as it relates to some 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 love interest that you may have that you have four choices okay so spirit is confirming this again you have four cups coming towards you spirit is saying one of one of these cups is very much um <laughs> like and i'm getting this energy of in your face okay one of these cups one of these one of the cups that's coming towards you and again this is in relation to love one of the cups that's coming towards you is very like and i'm almost hearing aggressive okay <laughs> one of the cups that's coming towards you is like aggressive okay this is that this is that person that's like they doing something whether you see it or not and spirit is saying you may not actually be seeing this cup okay all right one of these cups that's coming towards you is like really aggressive right now they may be doing things that you may or may not see and i'm getting the energy that this is you're most you're most likely you're not seeing you know this this person what they're doing so you have someone behind the scenes who are trying to offer you their cup but not but and you're not really able to you're not seeing what they're doing and spirit is saying that you're they're working behind the scenes and and also you have three other options that may not actively be doing things uh to come towards you um at this time and perhaps these are people that you have uh <laughs> that that may not be on the best terms with you these three cups that are currently you know seated on the ground meanwhile you were you know you're sitting on your you know you're sitting in your power is what spirit is saying you're sitting with your intuition intact and just doing your work um and just just you know you're you're not even like you're not even i'm hearing you're not even like really on that right now you know you're not even on that uh, that's the energy that I'm getting. Okay, so you're seated as the Queen of Cups and you have at least four offers here. You have four people who are trying to offer you their cup. One of them is more active, is, and that's the word I was trying to, to find. One of them is more active than the other. Um, look at that. Okay, so uh, Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> and okay this king of it may be this king of wands here on the bottom of the deck that's trying to come towards you let's get some inf more information about the queen of cups okay queen of cups clarified by the four of cups um hmm. you might you may have someone in the state of regret someone in a state of regret actually currently and look at that another cup energy and speaking of regret this person that that's in the state of regret is someone that you moved away from someone that feels abandoned by you someone that feels like you know you you've like forgotten about them and they're really thinking thinking deeply about whatever it is that caused this you know eight of cups this walking away you see it as the queen of cups they're really thinking about this at this time okay they're really thinking about this and here you are again walking away you know 
um, and this is why you're able to, you know, to sit in your power is what I'm hearing. And whoever it is that you walked away from is having a deep sense of regret. Deep sense of regret. Give us more information about this. Let's see about this Queen of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. You have new offers. You have a lot of offers. Okay. As it relates to your pentacles knight of wands whoever it is that you walked away from may have been in a nine of wands energy um yeah this this may have been someone who's like who was pursuing you you know with this in this very immature kind of like you know passionate sort of energy um this may have been someone who clearly was just concerned with you know uh and i'm hearing sexual adventures this is someone who definitely someone who feels burdened at this time whoever it is that you recently walked away from in the queen of cups energy is feeling a great sense of burden they're feeling a great sense of burden and um mm, they're feeling a great sense of burden they are they still have a lot of passion for you is what i'm hearing this may be someone who's very arrogant you know who who is trying who saw you as a challenge is what i'm hearing someone to be conquered someone you know that that was seated in your power in the queen of cups energy you know and they came at you in this you know knight of wands energy you know just not really bringing a lot you know really more what i'm hearing is sexual adventures like like i'm getting the sense that this person wasn't offering much okay like they they thought that they're <laughs> Oh, they thought that their wand <laughs> is what I'm hearing. They thought that their wand was okay, spirit. <laughs> uh, that was all that in the bag of chips. They're going, you know, and that and that's that sexual adventures uh, energy that I'm getting. And this person currently is feeling really burdened because at some point this walking away made them realize that you know their their <laughs> whatever it is that they were offering wasn't enough for this queen of cups you know and this is someone you know you you're seated you know deeply intuitive you know just with your love and so much nurturing and it's like like this person's idea of what they thought that you wanted was you know sexual adventures and you and and this cup and i and i get the sense that you knew that okay and that's that person that's coming that was you know the energy that i was picking up earlier that you know that whoever it was that was coming to offer their cup their their cup wasn't much okay their cup wasn't much. Their cup was basically about sexual adventures and, you know, exploring different things. This person wasn't really offering much is what Spirit is saying. They weren't offering much. And so, and so this is why, you know, you walked away. Okay. So you walked away um, and now this person feels this heavy sense of burden because um, they are beginning to realize what it, who it is that you were, is what Spirit is saying. This, they have this sense of regret. So whatever it is that they wanted to offer, um, you know, they obviously 
they have they obviously restricted you know they limited the possibility of building something more and they are definitely in that realization and they see you in this queen of cups energy is what spirit is saying hmm so i want to get a sense of who who it was that you walked away from who was it that you, that you walked away from okay spirit is saying that she walked away also from someone who is very stingy <laughs> someone who's very stingy someone who has issues as it relates to their past okay someone who wasn't willing to give someone who was hoarding someone who basically was focused on their material wealth okay they were focused on their material wealth and they were also like I'm getting the energy that they weren't really offering love like whatever they thought was you know sufficient for you in this you know cup you're like yeah this 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 and I'm hearing this crusty dusty cup I don't want this crusty dusty cup is what you were thinking like you were in the energy of I don't want this crusty dusty cup and look at that on the bottom of the card the tower so you ended it okay this is someone that you ended it with like <laughs> we're getting the eight of cups and the tower card so you definitely ended the situation with this person okay you ended the situation with this person um and you're seated as the empress okay you realize your worth you realize your worth and this tower moment that you had with this person again 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 like this is definitely this is definitely scorpio energy like we know all about endings and beginnings like and spirit is saying that this tower moment really um allowed for some kind of divine transformation in you where you where you were seated as the the queen of cups previously again this is what we're saying showing yourself self-love is you know it you know like the tower ending things are all expressions of self-love and the empress is an embodiment of of self-love the empress knows when to begin and end things you know she's seated in this nurturing motherly energy and spirit is saying don't sleep like she she represents beginnings endings you know because she's in touch with the divine she's in touch with the universe the cosmos she is seated in nature she is connected to nature she's abundant because of that and so she knows when to end things when to begin things she knows you know when to have access when to allow you access and when not to like she is love so when you're trying to give her something that is less than that does not represent love you know and this is the the energy that was picking up from here you know whatever whatever cup <laughs> you were being offered you know this person thought that they were doing something you know by offering you you know sexual excitement and this and that and third you're like i'm seated as the empress like i know what love looks like you know and when this person met you you may have been in this queen of cups energy where you are you are very much loving nurturing like willing to give your the shirt off your back you know you are willing to give the shirt off your back is what spirit is saying and this person tried you like they definitely saw that they saw you as someone who was willing to give and as as long as you were willing to give they were willing to take and you know <laughs> one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that the queen of cups is highly intuitive you know she is seated in her intuition you know she she knows things she has she she has a lot of love for others she's nurturing she's motherly and you know oftentimes spirit is saying folks confuse that with not knowing 
you know when someone is giving you love and and nurturing you oftentimes you know people are doing ish and you know the queen of cups will allow you to get away with it for so long and the queen of cups will sit there and watch you okay she's nurturing and all and motherly and all and she will sit there and watch you going and going and going to see where you're going and many many folks think that it's because she don't know something you know many y'all get to know and this is for those who are watching who are trying to understand you know who may be trying to understand um when someone when you when you take advantage of someone and they don't say anything to you and you continue to do it please believe and don't uh, don't underestimate what they know okay and this is the case for a lot of times with the divine feminine energy that most masculine energies sees the divine feminine as someone who is nurturing kind of like you know this mother figure you know the mother figure that lets the child get away with a lot of things assuming that they don't see the queen of cups sees she's highly intuitive okay and she's nurturing but and what is what spirit is saying is you know where the queen of cups may allow you to get away with some ish not the empress okay the empress has done enough work you know in the queen of swords energy in her queen of pentacles energy she's seated in all aspects of her power where she ain't gonna let she she's not gonna allow you to get away with with ish you know whereas the queen of cups may okay so they both are highly intuitive but this and the empress will not get <laughs> will not allow you too many chances to get away to get away with some ish because like she's also the queen of swords as well she will she will literally you know cut you out her life you know on a spiritual level and on a, on a on a physical level now we ain't talking about violence we're talking about basically like ending it you know she knows when to end things because she's she's seated in her power is what spirit is saying okay so you're seated as the empress mm -hmm. spirit is saying that this person that you know we we're just talking about that that may have ended this thing or you may have ended it with wants to bring some clarity to you they want to bring some they want to bring some information to you is what spirit is saying oh here we go again they want to move to calmer waters with you and i saw this knight of pentacles again they may be bringing you like a small offer of some sort kind of like a truce to heal the wounds if you will okay um and i'm seeing this night energy so this person mm, this person is being judged by the divine for whatever it is that they did for thinking that they were bringing you something but they were really crumbing you is what i'm hearing uh, they may be in this state of defeat is what i'm hearing um and there is a possibility that they want to have a they want they want a ten of pentacles oh goodness they want a ten of pentacles and they want they want this ten of cups with you <laughs> okay they want this ten of cups with you is what i'm hearing okay so this is someone who's definitely had a change of heart this is definitely someone who is actively doing something and for many of you this is behind the scenes you don't see this okay they want to bring you something and i'm hearing fertility a lot uh, this person may be trying to conceive with you is what i'm hearing mm, yep they want they, they definitely want a family with you they they see you as someone that they want to build stability with so whoever it is that i'm speaking to this person 
there's definitely been a change in their thinking you know with this ace of swords that we got here like this person is like no longer thinking oh okay these sexual adventures are going to satisfy you like they see you as this empress and as the empress they know that you deserve more and they're willing to give you more okay all right <clears throat> Let's see what the ancestors are saying. Ancestors, give us some words of wisdom regarding this reading. What do you want us to know? Okay. Number 41, medicine horse. Okay. 41, medicine horse. 41. Okay. So let's see what Medicine Horse is saying. Okay. Medicine Horse 41. Progress on the path. I am Medicine Horse, bringing you the message of freedom, journey, and progress. Do not act as though you are a beast of burden. Claim your innate divine dignity. Allow yourself to feel and be grateful. Recognize and honor your needs for rest, openness, safety, and respect. An ability to hear, know, and feel spiritual truth, which will guide you in every aspect of your life journey, is opening up. Connect with your spirit. Live your truth. There's a powerful and sacred bond between your soul and the animal kingdom. If you have a beloved animal who has left this world for the spirit world, here is a message that this beautiful being is pr protected by spirit and is loved and peaceful now. That creature is completely forgiven and completely forgiving. You are also guided to honor the inner knowing that flows naturally from your instincts and intuition. All right. As you respect your inner guiding wisdom, your life experience will improve. You will successfully navigate your way around negativity. Healing, spirit communication, and loving repair of the sense of self after any type of abuse is indicated. There is spiritual support and assistance for a journey ahead that will take you far. Progress is being made. Spirit is saying progress is being made, y'all. And for many of you, spirit wants you to know that when you listen to your intuition as this queen of cups and i'm definitely getting that energy and you ended the situation that no longer served you you definitely opened up the floodgates for opportunities to receive new things and therefore this is why the first thing that came out in this reading is this success card you are having success and victory in your life um, as a result of listening to your intuition. So Spirit is saying to continue to listen to your intuition and to speak up when necessary and to open the doors. Speaking up will open the doors for you that need to be opened and, and close the ones that need to be closed. And at this time, Spirit is saying you are seated in your Empress energy. Okay, you're seated in your Empress energy and all of these things are before you. Okay, and you definitely will be hearing from, <laughs> from uh, you know, I'm, I'm hearing this water sign uh, possibly soon, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, things are looking good for you, Scorpios, and, you know, you definitely have a lot to look forward to. Uh, if this message resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Much love and peace.